Hey guys, this is here, I was due and to review the Leaping Lookalike Star Wars Jedi Starfighter with Hypergrive. Uh, so, this is the box here. Uh, so, you see, it's recommended for just 6 and up and comes with 860 pieces and this is set 05121. Comes with uh, 4 minifigs, uh, which are R4, Obi Wan, and uh, Boba Fett, and also uh, Django Fett. And yeah, um, so the box art, uh, it looks pretty cool. You got the Death Cropper on the uh, corner there, and yeah. So uh, the top of the box here just shows you uh, the all the figures and also the actual size. So uh, this is the side here, and yeah, um, the other side is also the same. So uh, this is the back here, uh, just shows you all the features uh, in the set, and yeah, you can see you got a Django fed there, uh, fighting Obi Wan, and yeah. Uh, but aside from that, that's it for the box. So uh, inside the box here, uh, does come with a, a crate here, and yeah, this crate is uh, actually pretty big, and yeah, it's uh, also very uh, very thick, and yeah, um, it's uh, bigger than usual. So yeah, but uh, that's it for the crate. So this is the instruction manual here, and yeah, you can see uh, the front, you got all the uh, numbered bags, and yeah, uh, that's uh, definitely nice that they included the, all the numbered bags, and yeah, this is where the sticker was, and yeah, I just uh, peeled it off, and yeah, the build, uh, it's all just simple, and the final picture, there's something interesting, uh, which is this. They actually shown the, a real image, and yeah, um, that's um, uh, that's not a thing that was, that you see in a instruction. But yeah, uh, you just have uh, this one, which just uh, points out all the features that uh, this thing has, and yeah. But uh, aside from that, the, uh, that's it for the instructions. So uh, these are all of the extra pieces here. Um, so let's start with uh, this one. So this one is uh, this uh, mold for uh, the guns. So this one is in silver, and yeah, um, uh, you only need uh, you only need uh, the um, just the normal uh, pistol piece. Uh, two of them uh, for uh, Django Fett and yeah, it's uh, pretty nice to get all these extra blasters and yeah, um, so uh, you just have uh, this um, brick separator and you got uh, these thrusters which not sh not sure if they fire or not, but yeah, seems like they don't but yeah, you got two of them, uh, this one doesn't have the, the piece which activates it, but yeah, um, it's still nice to get, and uh, you also have this piece, uh, which is the uh, the scanner thing for uh, all the Mandalorians, and yeah, um, so you got uh, three of these Technic pieces, and you got this piece, which has a stud, and uh, you got four studs in here, and you got this plate piece, uh, two of uh, three of these extra hands, and uh, you have this uh, cheese slope, and also finally uh, this uh, Technic uh, piece. And yeah, but aside from that, that's it for all of the extra pieces. So, first off, the figures uh, this is R4P17. Uh, so, uh, you can see uh, the you have the legs here, and yeah, um, they are. Uh, very uh, loose and yeah, it's uh, kind of a bit annoying, but yeah, it, if you don't kind of if you don't move it around, then it should be fine. And uh, also, this headpiece here, um, yeah, the print is um, very like off center, and yeah, it's um, it looks weird, but yeah, still, uh, it still looks um, all right. And yeah, um, all the parts that are supposed to be uh, silver, they are painted in kind of blue. And yeah, that's um, a little bit of a problem with uh, Leapin, and yeah, um, but uh, you know it still looks uh, alright, and yeah, it looks kind of like a like a uh, an another version of this story. But yeah, um, so you can see you got uh, all the body stuff. Uh, so you got uh, these vents here. Uh, you got all these. Uh, 
uh, parts here where, uh, which you can open up and yeah uh, you know you got some other detail link you know like just a pretty simple uh, astromech droid uh, printing and yeah you just got its eye right here and yeah but uh, aside from that that's it for R4 so the second figure here is Obi-Wan Kenobi so uh, he's armed with his uh, blue lightsaber and yeah, um, so uh, you have his uh, long hair, which is his uh, ep episode 2 hair, and yeah, um, it's a pretty common piece, but yeah, uh, let's just remove that, and yeah, you can see uh, you got this uh, microphone type of thing here, which, you know, uh, it's, I believe it's the same, this, the, the same head uh, from the uh, Obion's Jedi uh, Interceptor set, and yeah, but... Uh, so you can see you got uh, his Jedi robes right here, and uh, you know you got the belt right here, and yeah you got uh, some I guess uh, comms maybe, but yeah you just have uh, the light print thing, which is also a very common uh, light piece, and yeah so the back you got his uh, scared face, and you got the the belt print thing, and you got some other robe printing, but. Yeah, aside from that, um, that's uh, really it for Obi-Wan Kenobi. So the third figure here is uh, Young Boba Fett. Uh, so you have uh, his long hair here and you have his annoyed face. And yeah, not I'm not quite sure if it's his uh, annoyed face or whatever. But yeah, um, it, he just looks like a jerk. But yeah, uh, so you can see uh, his torso here, you just have uh, this middle belt thing here, and you, know, you got his body, you have some creases, you know, just pretty simple printing, and yeah, the back, you got this belt part, and some other crease part, and this is uh, his kind of evil smile face, uh, when I guess uh, Django fed a uh, shot, shot down uh, Obi-Wan's uh, ship, but yeah, um, aside from that, uh, like, that's really it for Boba Fett. So, last but not least, this is Django Fett. So, he's armed with both of uh, his uh, pistol or uh, just blaster. And, yeah, um, they are just uh, these normal pistol pieces. And, yeah, so you can see uh, you got this attachment piece, uh, this, um, uh, like, Mandalorian helmet attachment piece and yeah it's a very common piece as well and yeah um so the helmet here uh it looks very accurate it does look uh, pretty nice uh they capture it pretty well and yeah you got this t-shaped uh, visor thing and yeah so if you remove the helmet here you can see you got uh, his face here uh, which is only one sided but yeah uh, you have uh, all his beard and you got kind of his uh, very angry face and yeah um, so the torso you got his armor and you got his belt uh, with all these uh, pouches and you got uh, two of these wraps and you got these uh, knee pads and you know just uh, just uh, like armor uh, all the man Mandalorian armor and yeah so the back you got uh, the jetpack uh, with the uh, uh, the rockets and yeah um, so it, removing uh, the jetpack here so you can see uh, you got more of his armor printing and also his belt but uh, aside from that that's it for Django Fett so uh, this is the uh, Jedi Starfighter on the Hyperdrive ring. Uh, so let's start off by taking a look at the Jedi Starfighter itself. So uh, this is the Jedi Starfighter built here. Um, so you can see uh, this thing here, it has a kind of dagger shape. You know, kind of like a uh, Star Destroyer and yeah, um, so these side parts, uh, they are attached by uh, clip pieces, and, you know, you can kind of move them around, but, yeah, uh, they are just, just supposed to be like this, and, yeah, but, um, uh, the, so the front here, you got, uh, this sticker right here, and you got both of these structures, and, uh, they do work. Uh, which is definitely nice. Um, they do they don't shoot as far as the uh, Lego ones, but yeah, um, they do they do still work fine. But yeah, this one just doesn't seem to be working. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but yeah. Um, so 
uh, here you got this uh, Republic uh, insignia or logo and you got uh, these stickers they are uh, all these uh, decals they are all stickers and yes so you got this uh, turntable part which is where you put the uh, astromat kit for uh, R4 and yeah you can kind of spin it around and yeah it's kind of hard to remove the head uh, you know because you just remove the entire thing but um, yeah um, does have some nice shapes and angles so here uh, you got uh, all these uh, stickers and if you remove this you can see inside does have a place where you can put uh, the astromac uh, astromax uh, body in there and you can kind of fit them inside and if you don't want to put this uh, this uh, body inside then uh, you can uh, use this as a cargo compartment uh, you know maybe Obi-Wan has other stuff uh, other than his lightsabers but yeah um, so the bottom you got this landing gear right here which you can just fold up in uh, when it's uh, flying and yeah you got these uh, technic pieces right here which are for uh, uh, attaching to the hypergraph, hypergraph ring and yeah um I'll get to the cockpit part later but yeah um so the back you can see uh you got these uh engines right here and yeah uh they are pretty simple but they do do look fine and you got these uh parts right here I'm not sure what they are but yeah um so the bottom you can see uh does have a clip on each side uh, this is where you can clip on Obi-Wan's uh, lightsaber and that's uh, definitely nice uh, because you know you don't have to put this uh, lightsaber at the side or anything like that but yeah um, so the copy part uh, you know one warning before I get to this but uh, yeah this thing here you can't hold it like this because this entire thing uh, you just uh, detach you know if you uh pull it really hard and yeah this this part right here uh it's it's not stable at all so yeah because this is leaping and you got this uh, nice canopy piece and you got this nice fin piece also and you got this uh, republic uh logo and you got uh, all these uh, stickers uh it's on uh, both sides and yeah so inside you just have this uh normal printed uh, console piece and yeah it's a pr pretty common one and you can just clone Obi-Wan uh, you also have this uh, backrest and yeah he just fits in there nicely I guess but you have to put his uh, legs uh, together but yeah he should he should be in there fine and you can just close this up and yeah he can just fly away and yeah this thing is uh, it's actually pretty big in person you know it does look uh, pretty small on uh, on the video but yeah um like uh, aside from that uh that's really it for Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter so uh this is the hypergrive ring build itself here um so you see it's a big uh ring and yeah um it, it is uh pretty actually pretty sturdy uh considering uh that this is leaping and yeah um it's uh, definitely all right the build is fine and yeah um so uh you can see on both sides here you got uh these kind of vents part you know i'm not 100 percent 100 percent sure what they are but yeah they they look like vents part to me but yeah um uh, so the back, uh, you also have uh, these uh, uh, cluster sublight or sublight engines, and you see, and on the middle part here, you got all these uh, decals, and you got this uh, Republic uh, logo there, and yeah, um, it's also on the other side, and yeah, these pieces you can kind of roll them around because they are kind of wheel pieces. And yeah, um, so all these panels they are uh, built uh, differently. Uh, not all of them, but yeah, uh, a lot of them have like kind of different designs. And yeah, it's uh, definitely nice. And yeah, so uh, the bottom, the bottom piece here, uh, yeah, this piece is uh, flat. And yeah, it's the it's the biggest piece. Uh, and yeah, so this piece, uh, you got all uh, these support right here. And you can kind of pull it up, so you have uh, these uh, Technic axle pieces, and yeah. Um, so this part, you got uh, the handle part, you got the uh, transparent uh, 
Technic pieces, Technic beam pieces, and yeah, um, they do look uh, nice. And yeah, um, so you can just hold this from the back, and yeah, it's uh, very pretty easy. So uh, you got this trigger right here, which you can pull, and you you can release the starfighter. Uh, you know what? If the starfighter wants to be released, but yeah, um, you also got this uh, back tile piece here, and yeah, um, you got all these uh, green and red pieces, and yeah, so uh, there's supposed to be uh, two rubber bands in this, but yeah, one of them broke, so this thing, uh, yeah, it kind of stuck, gets stuck sometimes, but yeah, it still works, and uh, you got these flat pieces, uh, you know, when the Starfighter is attached, you can, you know, uh, put this down, and yeah, um, so how you attach it, uh, you just uh, pull up uh, the landing gear, uh, pull the trigger, and yeah, attach uh, these uh, uh, Technic uh, axle pieces under there, and yeah, they should clip in fine, but yeah, it uh, does, need, does need some help here, but yeah, you can kind of push it in, uh, so that these flaps, they are actually uh, pretty useful, you know, because you can, you can open them up and push, uh, help push these pieces, and yeah, but um, you know, once the Starfighter is attached, uh, you can just uh, close the flaps, and yeah, um, this thing is ready to go, and Here's a 360 view of it, and yeah, uh, this thing does look uh, great. But uh, in universe, this thing's supposed to detach uh, from the bottom and go through the bottom part. So yeah, it's kind of inaccurate there, but you can't quite do it with Lego because yeah, it's uh, it's pretty hard. And yeah, um, so uh, you can just hold this up, and yeah, this thing is. Uh, actually a uh, pretty uh, pretty heavy and yeah but you know you can kind of fly around this thing and yeah it's uh, definitely great and uh, one last feature of this is that uh, this thing does have uh, spring loaded uh, shooters and yeah um, these things uh, they uh, they don't uh, they aren't supposed to have uh, spring spring load shooters or any guns on them. So that's kind of weird, but yeah, uh, you can fire them uh, by just uh, pushing uh, the back part, and they do kind of work sometimes, and sometimes uh, they don't work. But yeah, you can kind of fire it, but that one got stuck. So this thing here, um, the hypergraph ring, it has uh, when building this, it has quite a lot of uh, problems, but yeah, uh, it still works out uh, pretty well, and yeah, but this thing just kind of leans back, but yeah, uh, like, uh, aside from uh, that, um, that's really it for all of the builds. So, overall conclusion of this set here, so how do I think of it? Um, well, the figures, I think they are definitely fine, um, I got no problems with them except uh, with uh, R4, uh, you know, because the color scheme of uh, this part, you know, the silver part, uh, it's in blue, you know, makes it look very weird, but I think uh, it's still alright. And yeah, um, this is what you get when you get all the these uh, leaping sets. And uh, the builds, um, I think the Jedi Starfighter, uh, it's uh, definitely fine. I got not not much of a problem with it, with it except for the uh, cockpit part, you know, because the 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 cockpit part, it's um. It's not attached very well, so you have to be careful with that if you get the set. And yeah, um, so the hypergraph ring, I think um, it's alright. It just depends on which uh, batch of sets uh, you get. You know, uh, I guess my batch of sets they are kind of terrible. Uh, the the Springler shooters doesn't even work. But yeah, I think um, the, the hypergraph ring is uh, alright. But just that. Um, there's quite a lot of problems with it, and yeah, um, you do have to be careful. I'm not, uh, they are, the problems, they are not consistent, so I'm not sure uh, what problems you have if you get the set, but um, yeah, still, I think uh, it's definitely a great set here. Um, I mean, I believe uh, Leapin is the only uh, company who makes 
uh, this um, set. So yeah, you can only get Leaf Pin if you want to buy Lego Bullets. And the official Lego one, uh, it seems like uh, they didn't sell very well because I didn't see it anymore in my country. So yeah, but the um, if you want to buy the set, I'll put a buy link down in the description box below uh, along with all my social media pages down in the description. So if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you very soon.